Today, I'm taking a trip to the northern part of the island on a date with Gil. I was extremely excited for my private date with Larissa. It's getting down to the wire, so I'm really looking to put myself out there and see what happens. We took off in the helicopter, and there was quite a bit of turbulence. Made me pretty nervous. Hold on back there. It's kind of getting a little bumpy. Gil grabbed my hand at one point and was trying to kind of comfort me, which was nice. You know, I could see that she was getting a little bit scared, a little bit, a little bit nervous about the, the dipping and the turbulence and stuff. So I was happy that we were having turbulence. It was, it was fun, um, and you know, it gave me a chance to, you know, try to comfort her a little bit. helicopter ride, we pulled into this beautiful green valley with these huge cliffs, and it just felt like something out of a fairy tale. The helicopter ride was extremely incredible. Um, I've never, ever in my life seen anything quite like that. That's beautiful. It was very, very magical and just breathtaking. So after the helicopter landed, we ended up on a black sand beach, and my goal was to get him to open up and get him to trust me and get him to stop judging himself and judging his own actions and his own words. Are you ticklish? No. No. Are you? No. no. Are you? I found out Gil is really ticklish, so I had to uh, play with that a little bit. I am serious. I will freak out. I am like crazy. Sometimes I'm bad. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I can't, I can't okay, do okay. this on the freaking, I can't do this on the camera. I'm all nervous. I know. Talking to Gil, I noticed he seemed nervous. And I didn't know if it was the cameras. I didn't know if it was the situation. But it made me concerned that maybe he wasn't interested in me. It's not easy. No, it isn't. It's not familiar. So, I don't know. This is a really, really new experience for me. Um, I'm not used to cameras. This is not something that I do on a normal basis or have ever done in my life. When you're in something like this, you kind of have to let go. And I think that's the whole challenge of it is to learn something new about yourself. And I know there's this this wall, or not a wall, but just you're, you're kind of sitting back on it. And like, I just want to see what happens. I mean, I do too. I'm holding back. I can tell. Hold, I'm holding back. That's, that's you know. You don't hold back. I don't know. I'm very, very glad I stayed. It's, it's, it's very comforting mm -hmm. to know that you, you know. I like you, Gil. <laughs> I like you too. I like you too. We were on this amazing private beach. I wanted to, you know, show her that I, I felt that this was, you know, something special. It was just such a breathtaking place to be that we were just in the moment. We just had a great conversation and kind of just led into a kiss. It was a really nice, honest moment. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> After Gil and I were walking around on the black sand beach, we found a stream that we decided to play around in. It ran down from the, the mountain above us, and it had clear water, and it looked real nice. And we walked up the stream, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know, I wonder if we can slide down this thing. It looks kind of like it might be kind of fun. Gil kind of jumped in after I went down. It was cold. It was cold, I could feel it, but amazing. After we went down on the water slide, we ended up in like a little lagoon pond area. And it was really cold, but it was nice to just kind of hang on to each other for a little body heat.
After swimming, we warmed up and changed and arrived at this really romantic, tiny little cabin. It was just so perfect. Look at this place. Oh, how cute. And just very quaint and cozy and comfortable, and it was, just had an amazing view. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look at that. Breathtaking. Gil was going to cook some dinner, which I think is amazing. I love a guy that can cook. I think that's so sexy. Oh it never really hurts, you know, when I, when I can show a woman that I can cook. I'm no emerald by any means, but I, I can put a decent meal together. I'm excited to see what you're going to make. Like I said, don't expect too much. While Gil was cooking dinner, um, I kind of was cooking up a plan of my own to get to the bottom of his relationships. So you're more of a relationship guy? You know, I dated like probably anybody does in college. And then junior year, I met, you know, the girl that I had that long relationship with, you know, the long, probably, you know, the absolutely the longest relationship in my life. I noticed when I started asking him questions about his girlfriend, he also kind of started to get really hot and flushed and kind of, you started sweating. Okay. So what happened so. that made things, was it your decision? Or was it hers or mutual? Ultimately, you know, it would come down to, this and this can't, this is not going to work. And we need to just forget it. But we saw each other about two months ago. She came back down to Fort Lauderdale one final time. We had a great, great time. So do you guys think you would be together if she, say, moved to Fort Lauderdale? Oh, wow. Well, um, that's the million-dollar question. That's the million-dollar question. That never happened. Um, if it did happen? I don't think so. There was a long pause in the answer to the question if she was in Fort Lauderdale, if he would still be with her. It does bring a bit of hesitation in my mind. There was no reason why it couldn't have happened. It didn't. And that was a choice. I'm, I'm fearful of this, and I, I'm, I'm cautious. I mean, I've been in a relationship before. It was the toughest thing I've ever done in my life. So um, I, I'm, I promised myself I would not do that again unless it was, you know, 100% right. So it doesn't really bother you that I live in LA? It bothered me, but I don't, I don't think it's a, it's just an obstacle. Yeah. Obstacles are made to be... Overcome. Yeah, overcome or figure your way around or something like that. Not to say that it, it would be easy, but I'm not scared of going with something if, I, if it feels right. You know? I'm not necessarily tied to any one place right now. What I said is true, and I kind of wanted to put that out there because I think it kind of helped him open up a little bit more. The whole thing of this is like you have to kind of live in the moment. But I think the way we're both kind of the same is like constantly thinking about the future. And it's like you don't want to let too much of yourself go. You don't want to let yourself be open to be hurt. When I, when I mean, when I walked this whole thing, I had no idea what to expect. And I can only take it one day at a time. You have to come down to one, one person out of however many that have come here. I don't think it's a competition from guy to guy. It's a competition for each guy with himself. I agree. To learn something. I agree. It's not competition. It's it really isn't. It's just you know who's who is themselves consistently, exactly. and who do you relate with the best. It surprises me how you know the total package that she she is. She's got it all. You know, she's got a lot of stuff that I really look for. Oh wow, wow. Boy, oh, look at that. Hello, When the rain came, it was definitely, definitely a sign that says, hey, it's, this, is, this is definitely the right time to, to share another kiss with Larissa. When we kissed, yes, my heart was pounding, and it was really exciting, and I felt like this surge of just adrenaline running in my stomach. The kisses with Gil are different. They are very passionate, but he's also, I can still feel his hesitation a little bit, um, that he's not completely letting himself go. This is the best date that I've ever been on, I mean, by far. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to live up to this date again in my life. I'm extremely surprised at how fast that this is all taking place. I'm, you know, kind of swept away by this whole situation that's, that's been here. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's, I mean, why not? Next. I realized I was in it for the wrong reasons. The final private date. What is that? Before Larissa decides which hometown she'll travel to. I'm hoping that he's not a boring guy. But this time, the private date isn't all that.